What up y'all, it's your girl Tasha Kwan, and we are in Gainesville at the University of Florida with Coach Walted at KSP Stadium, which stands for? Uh, Katie Seashell Presley Stadium. Okay, we are here for another episode of Royal Key, and we're really excited to have him show us the entire facility and everything that comes with it. Thanks for being here, Coach. No, I'm excited. Well, behind you, obviously, oh. we have the National Championship trophies. So. We gotta show that first. Yeah, you, you know, it's funny. When we, we won it in 2014, it's obviously super special, and that's what you have behind you. You have the, the dog pile behind you of, uh, of just what it looks like when you win a championship and the, you know, the jubilation that goes with that. But, Absolutely. Uh, but we, we did the 14 championship uh, here, and then obviously we, we went back in 15. Come and on, really, really back special. to back, baby. I'm yeah. here for it. I just got chills. That's amazing. So what does that feel like? Uh, it's hard to describe. Right. Uh, a lot of hard work, but uh, I think more importantly, every time I ask, get asked a question about championships, I see the faces. Yeah. I see the kids, yeah. what they did, how they did, uh, just what they look like after yeah. they won the championship. It gives me the chills. I so, know, right? Like, what fun. an amazing feeling. Yeah, well, this area here is really from a, you know, from a recruiting standpoint. Mom okay. and dad, kids walking through the doors. Um, our players come from the parking lot. I got a key uh, fingerprint entry. Yeah. Walk in, see the championship reminder every single day, and I remind them to make sure they look at that thing every absolutely, single day. Absolutely, absolutely. Then we head over to, to the, the thing that most people love, especially me, is the gear. Absolutely. Like, uh, Gotta have some good gear when you are at college. Love, but, uh, but yeah, we, we're, we're very fortunate. We have, uh, obviously, uh, being a Nike school, Nike takes uh, great care of us from top to bottom. Absolutely. Uh, they do it all, and then we're a, we're a, we're a Wilson. It's a, it's a combination of Wilson, DeMarini, and Evo Shield. They take care of all okay. of our extra gear, our bats, our gloves, our travel bags, um, all of our catcher protective wear. It's a, it's a one-stop shop for yeah. uh, some really good people. And then, uh, we just try to showcase uh, you really what you, you know, what you're aspiring to be. And we've got all the championship rings up here as well from the first ring um, in, in 1998, the second year of the existence of the SEC. Yes. Florida Gators won the SEC championship. Come on. And then from there, the, the history goes on. Back-to-back -back champions in 14, 15. 15 was pretty cool because we won, not only did we win the, uh, the, the national championship, yeah. we won the SEC as well, yeah. which is uh, really hard to do. Yeah, you know, we got custom cleats. Nike does a great job of designing it. Love it. And then each one of our players has an opportunity to design their own gloves, so. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's super dope. And that is that like normal? Yeah, uh, I think that, you know, there's there's quite a few people that do it now. Oh my but, gosh, uh, that's so cool. We, we keep it, uh, you know, man, obviously you gotta, you gotta look good to play good. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, so we went through a $15 million renovation. Yeah. So when did that start? And um, we'll ch obviously chat about what all went into that, but kind of give me a little backstory on that. So Jordan Matthews hits a walk-off home run here at KDC Show Presley Stadium to send the Gators to the College World Series. The next day they had a crane knocking this place down as we're flying to Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. We come back, so uh, they, had a, they had a timeline to get through. We opened this place in February of 2019. We played okay. the Japanese national team, which uh, went on to win the, the gold medal. Um, we played the US national team here as well, but 2019 is when we uh, you know, we came into our new place. Well, this hall here is really all about the players, and what we try to do is try to showcase um, each and every individual and the accomplishments uh, that they've had. Amanda Lorenz is um, the, the, the second player in program history to be a four-time All-American. Um, uh, the first one was Hannah, Hannah Rogers, and Hannah won our first national championship. But you go through here and you see all the accomplishments from female athlete of the year in the SEC. Um, to National Collegiate Player of the Year, the Hondo Award, which is basically our Heisman Award for, okay. for college softball. And we've had uh, three players win that award, but we've gone through here and, and really just tried to give them, you know, really what, what they've earned. And then as you look on the, to this side, and I, you know, this is really kind of more of an art piece, but you've yeah. taken the, uh, you've taken the bats, you got powder coated bats here. Love it. Um, and this design was, was brilliant basically, yes. but you have the old school bat weights with the donuts on there. And it signifies the colors, um, first team, second team, and third team All-Americans. And you go here and, and through here and you see the number of All-Americans that we've had. And you get to see how many. You look at um, Stacy Nelson was the first three-time All-American. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea Zakiz is the first All-American ever. Kim was the first position player All-American. Okay. And the list goes on and yeah. on and on. And really, it's a, it's a special thing. Um, I've seen the girls come back with their kids and take a picture in front of Absolutely. their bags. Uh, that, that, that's what 
when you build a facility like this, you build a program. Those are the moments that I've really cherished. Yeah. Seeing them come back. And, oh, hey, there's my name. Yeah. And their kids are taking pictures with their stuff. It's, yeah. It's really, really special. Super full circle. And then again, sharing it with the family. That's got to feel special. This is the area where I go, man, you, I see them. I see the faces. And I see the kids that I recruited and the in-home visits. And I've seen the tears of joy. I've yeah. seen the tears of being mad and upset. And, <laughs> Um, but these 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 players here, and you know, if you want to be a great pro, your great players have to be great players. Absolutely. And we've had some really on and good, off the field. Uh, 100%. Okay, coach, where are we now? Yeah, so we're this is our team lounge, and this is a, a multi-purpose room. Yeah. Um, the players do homework in here at times. Um, the, the thing that they do the most in here is eat. This yeah. is our hydration station. Absolutely. Pre-game meal, post-game meals, uh, lunch, snacks. Uh, all the cabinets in here are full of snacks. Yes, Refrigerator's snacks. full of uh, none, well, the one and only Gatorade. Okay, so Gatorade gotta have Gatorade. Invented here, <laughs> so Gatorade. And, uh, and and the Gators are sponsored by Gatorade. Pep Absolutely. Pepsi, Pepsi owns Gatorade. And, Absolutely. Um, it wouldn't be right without. No, no. And, and obviously we have uh, water because uh, hydration is key. But, Absolutely. But our athletes are Gatorade, water, Gatorade, Gatorade. So that's just, yeah. that's just what we do. This is, <laughs> this is where, uh, I mean, this is where I see players falling asleep when I'm talking yeah, about stuff. Yeah, that's me. That's and, me. Yeah, this is. Uh, so that's why I'm being back. We did this as, a, as, a, as a, a dual purpose room. So we meet in here. We go over our sports performance stuff, our, our our sports psychology things. We team build in here. We do a lot of any kind human performance stuff. So I think everything we do in here is different from. I try to keep the two areas, the locker room and the, the media or the, the team lounge theirs. Mm -hmm. Here's where we do, you know, the business stuff. Right. We take care of stuff. We watch film, um, but we also turn this into a post-game media place. Okay, so yeah. locker room time. Yeah. Look at this. This is sick. Well, the, the thing I was most impressed with is it was clean when we walked in. So, you know, we, we designed this to be very functional. So they've got a, you know, a security box up top, plug oh, yeah. in for your, your iPad, plug in for your iPhone while you're in practice. Um, the, the, obviously, the, the Gatorhead feature yes. here is the, the biggest art piece. You know, I wanted this to be round. I wanted people to be able to see each other from yep. every spot, yep. every angle in this in this For room. Sure. So we designed this in a, in a in a round feature, and then the center of it is is uh, the Sunflower Saturday locker of uh, Heather Braswell and Ian Lockwood's inspiration. So the two kids that are no longer with us, they both passed but their legacy lives on yeah. and their, their memory lives on and what they did and the impact they had on our program. So our players wear the, the sunflower in their hair on Saturdays and Love the that. color yellow is the significance of pediatric cancer. And you know, I, I've heard from a lot of people that when those kids see that, they know what it means and the significance of it. So yeah. playing for a cause is a lot better than playing for yourself. Absolutely. It keeps our players inspired and um, you know, it just separates us from other programs. We're not just playing the game, we're playing for a lot more than just the game. Okay, now we're in the spa. <laughs> it's got a it's got a spa like feel. Yeah, uh, that that was the beauty of having um, when when I had longtime assistant with me, Jennifer. We talked um, about the design and did some. She's like, this needs to have like a spa like feel. And, you know, our players look good, feel good, play good. Absolutely. On TV all the time. So this is kind of your hair and makeup station. Need it. Got the blow dryers. I see straighteners uh, every once in a while Absolutely. laying on the counters and stuff like that. But um, you got the yeah, again. You can you can pull it out. Sit in front of the mirror. You Perfect. Can do whatever. Our vanity. Everybody has their, you know, their own thing that they they do. Yeah, I love that. Game day hair and makeup is important. I, Listen, we gotta look good. I've seen it a lot on this national <laughs> television. Listen, we gotta look yeah. good. Game day hair is so important, especially softball. You gotta look good in the visor. Yep. Gotta have our sunflower. Absolutely. Uh, it's probably the most used space in the entire building. Obviously, uh, I'm very fortunate. You know, we have a, a full-time athletic trainer. Um, and she has a, a full-time uh, intern. Occasionally they have a student. So this space in here is utilized at all times. Multiple tables, you got a, a hot tub and a cold tub recovery. Um, all the different modalities that you need. Um, really, there's not one thing that our athlete um, you know, doesn't have. If we don't have it here, there's another facility on, on, on campus that we have access to with, yeah. uh, with our staff. So prehab is super important Ooh. to us. So doing things to prevent injury. Yep. And then obviously every athlete at some point in time is going to go through rehab. Yeah. Rehab is something that, you know, a nick, a scratch, a bruise, whatever. Um, but I think that's important for us. So we have all the facilities right here under one roof. Well, let's head out to the field, Yeah, this right? is the best. So you go from the play area and then boom. Like when you build something and very, very few softball stadiums 
you have to walk around is we go right through and under the stadium to the dugout. Love that. It's like a major league baseball. Yes, it so, feels like that. And this is our saying, we go oh. hard. We go, this is the go Gators part. So those that can touch it or jump up to it, it's good luck, but we go hard all the time. It's basically saying the, the meaning behind that is just because we're going out here to practice doesn't mean we're, we're not going to practice to play. We're, mm. we're practicing. We want to practice as hard as we play mm -hmm. so that when we play, it's a little bit easier. We go Let's hard go. all the time. Yes, we go hard all the time. So you guys switched up the seating a little bit. Yeah. You switched it up a little bit. So tell me about that. Yeah, we've always had berms. So occasionally you'll see kids rolling down the side of the bit, which why wouldn't they? Yeah, right? you put, a, put a grass That's the spot best part of a ball game. So with our facility and you look at all the different seating, so we wanted to go all chair back. So all okay. the lower bowls chair Love back. Love it. It looks really nice. About three quarters of the dugout and the lower bowl, just the concrete, is the original footprint of the stadium built in 1996. Okay, love so that. So the rest of everything else is brand new. Uh, sorry, the men's and women's bathroom. And then we added a new women's restroom on this facility on this side with another concession. Love that. Um, but as you go through the whole entire facility, we, I think we have about a little under 2,000 seats. Okay, so netting pros. What was it like working with netting pros? <laughs> I've worked with, uh, with it's Johnny and Eli, so Johnny Burbank. I've worked with them since I've been here. And you know, they're, they're gators, which is kind of mm. cool. But they they're so sharp and they've done major league baseball facilities and they've done a ton of collegiate facilities and recreational facilities. But the one thing about them is everything they do, they do in a first class manner, um, really trying to protect you. So not only protecting mm. the fans, protecting the players, protecting the coaches, they've done such a good job. They did all the netting. The netting connects all the way up to my office. So basically you're protecting the inner part of the stadium without yeah. having all the poles. All the poles Love we that. have are, are, are externally. So you can pull them tight, you can keep everything tight, keep everybody safe. But then you're able to get all the cameras and the angles yep. and the views that you want. So they did all that. They've done all of our padding. Um, they helped me with design the dugouts and do all the different things that we needed to do. But they do all of our screens. They do all of our protective stuff. They've done all of our cages. They did our batting cage. Yeah. They did our pitching lab where they just basically come in and what do you want? What's the space you need? And, and how do you want to use it? Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll design a plan for Knock you. And the best part is if it's not right, They'll get it right. They, they're, they're the best. I like. I like. I love dealing with those guys. That's awesome, Coach. One last thing. Listen, you have so many accolades. You've been here since 2005. Mm -hmm. um, you had the season where you had 70 wins and five losses. I mean, what are some of your? What is one of your most prized moments? Well, I can tell you the prized moment coming out of this dugout um, in 2008 winning in front of the, the, the crowd the here home at home team. for the first time ever to go to the College World Series. Um, it's something Unmatched. I'll never, ever, ever forget. I can see the faces, yeah. I can see the picture. Um, but again, uh, to me, when you do something for the first time, that's always gonna be the most special. For sure. Well, thank you, Coach, yeah, for showing us this thank amazing you. stadium. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. You are amazing. And man, can't wait to see another trophy here. Go Gators. Go Gators. <laughs> <laughs> <I did it. laughs>